Okay, seven left. Yay, the last snail. Yeah, one of the, one of the key things to remember in the speedrun is remember which layers restore which people. And, yeah, it's a... Uh, Get our power bracelet on. Yeah, I'll just stay in the safe zone. Get yeah, plenty of experience from you guys. <laughs> and who's the last one? Ah, oh, chest knights. One more level. at the mole. That the last mole I need. Oh, yeah, you uh you go away. Well, good thing I got the solar reality because I forgot about these these other hidden passages. Oh, I can go to the final area in world 3 now too. Finally fight the boss there. Yep, I got two hours left. I think I will... I think I'll finish in, in due time. Okay, just three in here. There's the lucky blade, so if I, if I have to go back to lane old now, I can do it. Now, was that soldier worth releasing? Probably not. Okay, two more moles. But other than that, yeah, we should be fine climbing to the t climbing to the top and fighting the boss. Yeah, we are a mimic. You guys have more iframes than it looks. Oh, finally some progress in that spot. To the final area. I do need to gain a couple levels, though. Fortunately, the best grinding spot isn't far away. 42k. Yeah, I want to get level 25, level 26. As soon as I can swing the soul blade, that'd be most ideal.
And yep, the, the portal's over here. <laughs> this castle's too big. If I walked, the game would be over. Up, oh, up, uh, yep. <laughs> Might help if I move. Cutting time. Ready for the finale? Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess I can't some. Oh, yep. Uh, kill you, kill you, kill you. And fortunately, this place is pretty straightforward. And of course, enjoy the awesome music, the awesome effects. Not so awesome enemies, but... Oh yeah, lots of gems. Get rid of you, get rid of you, goodbye. Four layers left. Uh, give me the last emblem, I, I'll... Gladly, gladly swing back to the Greenwood to get the magic bell. Oh, that's a long path. Well, get that out of the chest, can't forget that. Anything else on this side? Nope. Oh, come on, I want the last emblem. It okay, didn't matter which side I went in on. All right, best sword in the game. Now equip. And finally summon the Phoenix. Yep, uh, two gems per shot, so not bad. Get rid of you guys. Okay. Oh, uh, remember to double back and get that. Okay, just four in here, so yeah. Won't be a problem. Talk about the game bird for a second there. Oh, it's the... Uh, yeah, those little obstacles. What about these little fire arcs?
And just one left. Oh, there you are. Alright, any more flies? Any more flies? There you are. Nope, still not the last one. Ah, I guess it's just all a buzz. Wow, second to last chest in the game, I got 60 gems. Where is the last one? Let's... Okay, well... This wasn't close enough. Well, that wasn't unnecessary. Of course, at this point, you can't kill those uh, moving tiles just yet, so you do have to go around them. Okay, I've got to get a couple levels. This won't take long. This is the way to grind in this game. I've got more than enough gems for the final boss as well. Only downside is I did not get the defense bracelet. That would be the one one thing I would definitely want in the final battle. Good enough. I shouldn't have to gain any more. And this, of course, is this is where you need the soul armor to literally survive. And yeah, still one more layer. I think one more treasure chest. Treasure. Oh. Get it, Blazer. Oh, yay, a strange bottle. That was an insult, really. And the final layer. Excellent. Final portal, but we do need to come back here to get this last treasure. So this is our this is our game's validation chest. It is 50 gems. Yep. Wow. Uh, my my grand entrance up to the final boss ruined by stepping through the wrong portal. This place will be super trolly! <laughs> Holy cow, first form wrecked at level 26. Okay, got, I gotta kill the flames. There we go. And enjoy the final boss music. This guy is not that bad.
Ooh, I have a shot of beating a 415. Oh, did not... Oh, yeah, that... Wasn't paying close enough attention. quite need to heal yet, but do have a verb on standby. Okay, come on, Death Tall. You can die anytime now. I know your gimmick, Death Tall. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh. Yeah, that's Stay right there. He's not dead yet. I'm not going down easily, though. Oh, yeah! <laughs> anyway, time! <laughs> he had, like, one hit left. <laughs> oh, I should have... There we go. Now try hard mode. Just kidding. Oh. Relieval began to disappear. So, yep. Oh, this is a fun rando. I like this. Oh, I probably should have restarted the local recording. This one's going over two hours, but oh well. I I wasn't expecting to be for this. Yeah, like a 415, something like that. Maybe less than 410. Oh, uh, you guys got the it's. That it should not have an apostrophe. Okay, it looks like the ending text is not... Not changed. But, uh, yeah, there's our... There's our first uh, Rando Blazer seed. I will probably run more of these in the future. And as always, uh, Soul Blazer itself is a fantastic game. If you enjoyed Act Razor, you'll definitely love this. Yeah, no, but you gotta, you gotta play this one. The, the main thing is, you definitely want to play through Vanilla at least once, so you know where various items and uh, people are. And, of course, the one problem I had is the Shrine of Light. So I had to get through without the Soul of... Oof. The Soul of Light, but that was ended up not being as, nearly as bad as I thought it was. But other than that... Not a whole lot of trouble. I didn't have to use any herbs until I fought the boss of World 5. Yep, ending text is un ending text is unchanged. Oh, Baka Shinobi called for an SMC3 multi-world earlier. Too late. <laughs> oh well. Meanwhile, I'm not even paying attention to the ending anymore. <laughs> Yeah, go, go watch my Let's Play if you want me to take the ending seriously. But then again, that was not an easy time either. That was before my last dog died. Which was uh, responsible for long hiatus on my channel. But uh, things are much better now. Uh, meanwhile... Yep, back to the king, because he actually helped us out. While I, while I do this... Yeah, Celtus, uh... Here's a seed for you. I 
Like, no, Dr. Leo didn't pass away. We we saved the world before he died. <laughs> He only dies if you if you beat the World 6 boss. So I think that last chest before the boss is what saved him. <laughs> Got the purple stone. Yeah, we... We don't talk to any of the pets really, except for Gnome there. Well, well, uh, the only pet is uh, Marie. Not really a pet though, but uh... oh well, I'm just yeah. <laughs> trying to find some, so, trying to find something in this. Hey, there's Lou. little rescue romance going on between those two. Uh, you two have the exact same sprite. We can't, uh, we can't tell the difference. Might as well be twins. Oh, that, that was a perfect excuse to do a dolphin voice. Too late. Oh, for, uh, be grateful, Turbo. We did manage to... We did manage to restore your grave at the last minute. <laughs> Yeah, rest in peace, Turbo. You never did finish that FF7 run, did you? Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, uh, first Rando Blazer Seed done in four and a quarter hours? That's not bad at all. I was expecting this to take more than five. Close to six. I'll likely do another one of these... Uh, probably in a couple months. There are a few. There are a few other randoms I want to try out. Next one is probably going to be Chrono Trigger: Jets of Time. Uh, for the YouTube portion, I kind of have to decide how many how many videos to split this into. At least half hour segments. Yeah, I can I can, I can split it into eight parts and have the last couple be a little longer. That'll be a month. A month's worth of weekend content for the channel. <laughs> yep, uh, meeting up with Lisa in a tiny room in her dream. Even though there wasn't really a budding romance. Because we skipped all that in this seed. Yep, but thou must. I wonder if the clock actually stops there in the speed. <laughs> nope, the dream is over. The dream is dead. If the pet is dead, we're playing the wrong game. And of course, the lovely song. Uh, uh, of course, in the game is called an ode to Lisa, but officially uh, the name is A Night Without Lovers. And there is a vocal version on YouTube. I just kind of searched for Soul Blazer Ode to Lisa vocal. That should that should bring it up. Ironically, though, it's a little bit more upbeat in this version. This one's definitely meant to be more somber.
And the only image that differentiates Lisa between from all the other characters. Even though that's just a more detailed version of her normal sprite. All the other girls in town look just like her. They only have so many limitations. First, I am definitely going to have to ask Tim if he's played uh, the vanilla version of this game. I know he's played Illusion of Gaia. I don't know about Chart Enigma, but yeah, I'll definitely have to see if he's interested in streaming the blind run of this. The more exposure, the better. And I'm waiting for it, old pie. You heard what I said. Once again, uh, still one of the best early SNES games. Then by the same team that did, Act did Act Razor. With so many familiar elements. I need to get my brother to play this. I probably said this before, but he absolutely adores Act Razor. I tell him, you need to play this. It's like Act Razor and Zelda combined. It is so good. They just never got the chance to. Of course, he no longer has a SNES, and I don't think he emulates, so... <laughs> Can't do much about that. Now, I may actually do a replay of the vanilla version. There's a ROM hack out there called Soul Blazer Improved, which uh, cleans up some of the text and translation. Uh, mostly changing other things, leaving other things unchanged, but I can probably do it in a few hours. I mean, given, given how long this one took... I can probably do a vanilla run in like four or five hours now. Even without the speedrunning tricks, uh, mostly death warping and such, but all in all, yeah, this one, even a first time run, probably eight hours, ten at most. Still one of the classics. I can't recommend it enough. So, are we at the end? We got the epilogue, and that'll be it. Yeah, based upon Soul Blader. And of course, Illusion of Gaia is not quite the direct sequel to this, although one of the bosses from this does appear as the game's bonus boss, and he's a pain in the butt! I got my revenge today. That felt good. Yeah, Enix! There. <laughs> Thank you, Enix. I, I shouldn't... Anyway, here's the epilogue. Let's see, the master does not know, does not stop to breathe between sentences. <laughs> now here's the question, what if he's summoned back to the master's presence? Well, for one thing, you're talking to a goat. Uh, I can't answer that. I don't know my name. Oh, wait. Who are you? Who am I? This is the start of another story where I'm an Amnesty JRPG hero. Uh, yes, I don't remember you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, the guy ended up saving. Inadvertently. Yeah, we had uh, we, we had two interactions this seed, so uh, spending five minutes together, we will <laughs> make more members than we had previously. Very strange, Lisa. I don't think I. <laughs> That's not the first impression. Yeah, I have this goat who reminds me of a dog I had. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta slow down. I walk twice as fast as you do. <laughs> and, well, fade out on a goat. I'm not quite. <laughs> the end, though. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning into the stream of this. If you're watching on this, this on YouTube many months later, thank you for watching that. I'm Gunarm Dine. Call me Dine. If life is giving you a hard day, don't be afraid to put it in the fork. And I will see you guys for the next weekend project. Uh, probably a little uh, minor filler before a Chrono Trigger, but got plenty of content for you guys upcoming. And hope you enjoyed it all. Let's take care, and I'll see you later.